That's what I'm talking about. Another customer. Let's go. You ever have that experience where you tell someone something and then you wish you hadn't? <laughs> um, That's that one actually, this is a great you know, the, the weird thing about this too is that the early versions of the bike forming, it looked like it was a bunch of tiles kind of coming together. And uh, it had this like intensity to it. And, and so I started kind of taking a bunch of sounds that sort of would convey that. But <laughs> I think the one that did sort of the best job was just flipping through a deck of cards. So I would have conversations with Joe and try and talk about, okay, how are we going to do this? What do we want this to sound like? And I was sort of thinking in terms of updating the approach from the original Tron and kind of using like the latest technology, the newer synthesizers, the newer plugins, make a really sci-fi sounding motorcycle and kind of recreate a motorcycle from scratch. And it was working and it was really cool, but they ended up being really smooth and clean and it didn't really have the kind of grit that we were looking for. And I would show it to Joe and he kind of felt the same way. And what I ended up trying was to approach it from the other angle. Instead of making sort of synthetic sounds to sound like motorcycles, I tried to make motorcycles sound really futuristic and different. So we ended up getting these Ducati recordings and I would just do radical, radical pitch manipulation to them so that as the Dopplers went by, they were like, went from really high to really low. Uh, and I did this thing called resonant sweeping where you take the resonant pitches. It's kind of like, um, sort of inspired by what DJs will do. When a DJ sort of sweeps out of a song, sometimes it'll be that And if you do that and follow the pitch of the motorcycle going by, it turns out it makes it sound like it's got this really high tech wine to it. So I started adding those to the bikes and showed it to Joe and he's like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. And we had a big conversation about the idea that video games have sort of evolved. They're not just these synthetic sounds anymore. In some ways, in a lot of video games, they're more complex than movies. So let's try that other angle. And that's kind of where we ended up with the bikes. They just got sort of bigger, they got rougher, they got faster. And once we had that established, we had kind of two different approaches at the same time. The very sort of synthetic that I started with, and then the very kind of motorcycle-y. And we were able to kind of blend them as we went through and pick what was the most effective for what buy. Once we got something that sort of was believable, then it could really have fun. Another thing that I kind of ripped off from sort of the DJ kind of idea is what I call a dive bomb, where I made this low end sound that just goes boom and it just goes down. And I just put it wherever it seemed cool. <laughs>
out of here right now and you guys are invited. Got it. Ready? Ready. So long, sucker! 